interlude. It is Britain, 1998. The halls of justice grind slowly and they grind exceedingly small. One more chance, Ryan. One more chance to tell us what you know about this V bloke. And I don't want to hear any more porky pies. After all, they don't call it a police state for nothing. I don't know anything. Please, I've told you all this. You won't listen. You listen, chummy. I'm sick of listening. There's a subversive nutcase on the loose out there. He's caused this country more trouble than the first, second, and third world wars put together. We can't be doing it on his own, can he? He's got to have a firm backing him up. Stands to reason. Now you say you don't know anything about that. I say cobblers. All right, Ryan, you've had your chance. I think it's time for you to take a walk around the block. The window's over there. Get going. The, the window? What's that to do with... Oh my God, you can't be serious. I don't hear anybody laughing. You hear anybody laughing? Out the window, Ryan. It's only once around the block. Maybe the fresh air will improve your memory. Oh Christ, you can't do this. It isn't legal. I'll complain. Yeah, yeah, well, have the complaint forms waiting when you get back. Anyway, what's the matter, Ryan? You're dropping your bottle? It'll be a piece of cake, mate. The ledge is 18 inches wide. If it was on the ground, you wouldn't think twice about it. See you later. But the ledge isn't on the ground. It's 15 stories up, and the soft click of the window closing behind him sounds like iron doors slamming shut on his life. Vertigo. I'll tell the cleanup boys to have a body bag around the front in the morning. Looks like another case successfully concluded for the boys in gray. Yeah, you reckon this Ryan's got something to do with this V character then? Grow up, John. Of course he hasn't. He's just some poor prenet who talks about the wrong things too loud in the wrong places. Nah, I just had a bad week of it with Carol and the kids. She's giving me grief, John. I thought I'd spread it around a bit. It's no sweat. There's nothing in the records to say we even pulled him in. Anyway, who's going to care what happens to a zero like Ryan? The ledge is 18 inches wide. If it was on the ground, you wouldn't think twice about it. There's no difference at all, really. Well, perhaps there are some differences. There's that sick, tingling feeling in the soles of your feet. You don't get that on the ground. There's that horribly fascinating whisper that echoes through your mind. What will it be like when I hit? Will I be conscious? Will it hurt? These are the things that don't occur when you're on the ground. And then, of course, there are the crosswinds that howl around the edge of these tall concrete geometries. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Things like that never occur to you until it's too late. Ah, ah. Nice night. He faints. Black-gloved hands drag him to safety, and he doesn't know a thing about it. Meanwhile, he's been gone ten minutes now. Colin, what do you reckon? I reckon the wind would have had him off the first corner. Suppose I better have a look. Nah. No sign of him. Looks like he decided to enter the freestyle hang gliding championships. Come on, let's hit the bricks. I've had a long day of it, and if that cow starts up the minute I'm in the door... I'm going to chin her. Uh, second thoughts, how about stopping off at the officer's mess for a swift half and a game of John? John, did you hear something? A sort of cracking noise? Oh, Christ. It's you in it. You're him. Oh, bloody hell. Listen, I've heard about you. You're only after the party high-ups. I'm just a copper. You don't want nothing with me, do you? Oh no, you can't want me to. The officer working for the finger I have a name for this man. They call him V. He strikes without warning. He kills without compassion. 
he is utterly deadly. Imagine you had a choice between certain death from a black-gloved hand and the chance. However slim of escape, what would you do? All right, all right. And after a few moments, the man who never stops smiling quietly closes the window. He cannot abide drafts. Of course, the drafts inside are nothing compared to the ones outside. Inspector Colin Clark has worked for the Finger since it was formed in 1992. Six years ago before that, he was a soldier. He had to cope with worse than this on his travel on his training courses. Much worse. He can make it. He knows he can. After all, 18 inches is a lot of room. If it was on the ground, you wouldn't think twice about it. He takes a step. He takes another step again. Again. There is this, the man, there is the ledge, there is the dismal drone of the wind and the uncaring glimmer of the distant stars. Beyond that, there is only slapstick. He takes a step. Slapstick. Things like that never occur to you until it's far too late. Norwest House Security and Surveillance, Surveillance Annex Vincent <laughs> 